Chef William, unpopular <laughs> or fun, unpopular opinion that you might have. Can you I'm, think of anything? Uh, I love to cook. Yeah. <laughs> well, not everybody loves to cook. That is I true. Know, right? Yeah, that's true. But you do. Yes. Let's let's talk about you and huge impact and how this got started. Well, this got started uh, first a kid who loved to cook and wanted yeah. to take it a step further. So I went to culinary school at the Chef's Academy, got my degree, associate's degree in culinary, and now I'm here. I mean, that's how about awesome. that? When did you first learn that you liked cooking? Like, was there, is there a moment in your life where you're like, yeah, this is what I wanted? To do. Well, my dad is a chef as well. Okay. So he had me and my little brother oh, awesome. in the kitchen. We were about eight or nine years old. So about like nine years old, I took a liking to cooking. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get into the cooking, but really quickly, the name. Where did that come from? Well, this is what I wanted to do to your appetite, make a huge impact yeah. on it. Yeah. So when you sit down and eat it, you would want to come back for more. Oh, I like that. I love that. I like that. Gotta have that right. confidence with you. Yeah, so you're making some Cajun pasta today. Yes, I Where did am. we begin with this? Well, to start Excuse this dish, me. you have to saute your peppers, broccoli, and your grilled chicken. Let it uh, caramelize a little bit, get the uh, peppers sauteed in there, and then you add your heavy cream. Let your heavy cream cook. You want it a little consistency where it's thick enough to coat the noodles. I do about 10 ounces of noodles. It's about a handful, okay. and it's like one serving. I like that. About, you know, a handful mm -hmm. of noodles. Uh -huh. yeah. So you let that cook down a little bit, and I add my seasonings. Excuse me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are these, oh, I was going to ask, mm -hmm. are these secret seasonings? Are you going to let I have a in? Nana seasoning. This Nana's. is one of my buddies from culinary school. Corey, he's located in the Amp, the oh, food nice. architect. It's very good. I love this all-purpose alkali seasoning. And I use Cajun seasoning and Parmesan. This is just the base. Okay. that we're going to use for the sauce. Okay. And we're going to add that in here just like mm -hmm. so. I mean, you got to have your seasonings, especially of with course. a dish like this. And a little you, Parmesan cheese. Do you have a favorite dish to cook? This is my favorite dish. Is this dish, it? Actually, is it? Yes. I got that. But I like it with salmon, but we offer oh, different yeah. options. Okay. Salmon is my favorite. That's a good idea. I like that. So, so once it cooks so far like this, you want to uh, give it a little stir. Okay. Just to incorporate. Now is this a, oh, yep, heavy whipping cream base. That's yes. what I was thinking. And we make this from scratch per order. Oh, nice. So it's not like sitting in a no, massive no, pot no, waiting no. for you someone to dip it up. No. That's awesome. He's like, no, we're not doing that. Because you might not want the peppers, yeah, you might sure. not want the broccoli, so we cook it to wherever you're so liking. So cu customize. You can customize mm -hmm. orders then as mm -hmm. well. Okay. So how have things been going so far? What have been some of the, the main challenges with what you do? Um, the main challenges to me are employment. The mm. cooking is the easy part, like completing payroll. Yeah. The finding people who represent Getting the business the way that you will is the hardest yeah. part within entrepreneurship. To sure. Me. Yeah. So I bet yes. you want your team members to reflect you of course, right, yes. in your of business course. model. And finding someone who loves what you're doing as exactly. much as you love it yes. would right. probably be hard at yes. times. So. Yes. Well, let's talk about where we can find you, perhaps. We are located on West 38th Street in between Georgetown and Muller okay. Road in Lafayette Plaza, okay. 5110 West 38th Street. Now How we, you guys sorry, oh, I'm sorry, we've got the pasta. I just wonder what else is on the menu? What else can people expect? Oh, we have, uh, I classify my food as all American food with an exotic soulful twist. Oh, I love so you that. You can go anywhere and get a burger, chicken sandwich, wings, but we put our own twist to it. Okay. So we have burgers, wings, Cajun pasta, fish, shrimp, loaded potatoes, salads. We have a whole bass mm. menu that you can choose from. That sounds good. How long have you guys been there? We have been there for seven years now, since 2015. Oh, wow. Seven so you years. survived through the pandemic and all that, which I know. The pandemic was the best for me. Really? really? Yes. Drove a lot of people yes. there needing to yes. you know, eat out, that sort of thing. We were considered essential. Yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, for sure. And the pasta is now done. I love it. Ooh. I need a, uh, a couple of forks here. Yeah, it looks delicious. And this and is how it will look. Yes, it is very hard. This is oh, how yeah, that looks great. Look like, yeah. A little bit of garlic toast. All right. There you go. All right. Dug I'm going to let here. you take this one because I still, you know, oh, cough, the cough drop, drop in the mouth. Yeah, sorry. It'll be gone soon. I'll do that for the second segment. Mm. This, this is my kind of dish, though. I love cream-based yes. pastas. What are you thinking, Cody? 
That's like something like my mom would make. Like I love that so much. That's awesome. That's like the best Thank compliment. Oh my mm. like the best compliment. Thank you so much, Jeff. We'll have uh, more with you coming up here yeah. in just a little bit. That is really good. But it's so it's so packed full of flavor as well with those seasonings that he is. And Chef, you're not done yet. You're on to the next dish, aren't you? Yes, I am. What, what are you making got? over there? This is a salmon and shrimp extreme. Ooh. This is this is one of my favorites, actually. So we have. Um, Grill. Well, I normally do it on a grill, okay. but since we're here, we're doing it in here. So we can just saute it with the kebab. This comes with a shrimp kebab as well. And you, uh, I use a Cajun seasoning, grated Parmesan cheese, which should give it that crisp on it. Okay. And then a Cajun to give it the little more blackened that you were looking for. Oh, um, yeah. Okay, skin side down first or uh, the I, other way? The other way. And then once it's cooked... I peel the skin off. I don't okay. serve with the skin. Oh, off. okay. So you just cook it a little bit, and it comes right off. Are you a big fan of seafood? Do you like doing seafood dishes? I actually don't like seafood. Oh, <laughs> really? No, I don't like shellfish. I prefer fried fish. Okay. But I mean, I cook whatever. Yeah, it's my well, you, people so want it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Even if you don't like it. Yeah. Hey, so do you get roped into cooking for the family dinners and all that stuff too? Mm -hmm. I do, but I taught my wife, so I push it off. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Get, get a little help. Right? Yes, I love that. Go. But mainly, I do host yeah. all the events, Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. Christmas events. Sure. Whoever has to do with cooking, I'm on. Yeah. Take it. So you made this one. I love a good rice dish. Broccoli is one of my favorite vegetables. Yes. You got the salmon on the top with the shrimp skewer. What about the sauce? Because I feel like it's all about the sauce. The sauce ties it all in together. Mm -hmm. It's a lemon butter cream sauce. Ooh, it's oh. cream based sauce. We use uh, heavy cream, grated Parmesan cheese. We got the Nana seasoning right yeah. here, the all purpose alkaline. Is this what you've got architect. going on here? Uh huh. Add a little lemon juice and garlic butter, let that cook off. See, why do you make that seem so simple? And I know. I mean, well, I'm at home, I'm like, oh, <laughs> I don't know how to do it. <laughs> And I feel like I just need it in a bottle, but I can do this at home. Yes, at home. And it's simpler, easier, and it's cheaper. We were talking okay. at, after the last segment during the break about how it feels home cooked and it feels mm -hmm. like yeah. you put your love into like it. Yes. How do you continue to do that after seven years? Because business isn't mm -hmm. easy, right? I mean, the, you're running a business, you're trying to make money, but it also has to revolve around that love of doing it, I assume. Mm -hmm. I think this is all in a passion. Like, this is something I love to do. Yeah. When uh, going into entrepreneurship, they always tell you to pick a profession that you can get up and do every day with no problem, and cooking is mine. I can do this every day with no problem. So, I mean, I just deal with it as it comes. And, yeah. like, my team, I'm very thankful for my team. I have a great team behind me, mm -hmm. so they pretty much tie in to where I can't fill in. Oh, that's right. And that makes such a difference, too. Mm hmm yeah, this is delicious. Really Thank good. Thank you. Is this, are these both like on the menu? To yes, they are. They started off as specials. Okay. And they were so much in high demand, we ended up adding oh, to the wow. menu. Okay. So, yeah, these are our top two sellers, the Salmon and Shrimp Extreme and the Cajun and Chicken You do pasta. lunch and dinner? Yes, we're open up 12 to 8, Monday through uh, Saturday. What's your hope for this five, ten years down the road? I want to be retired. Yeah, <laughs> good move, yeah. But I also want to... I'm actually doing this for my kids. I want to leave something for them, yeah. building that generational wealth. So mm -hmm. five to ten years from now, I either want to expand and move on or leave it to my kids and be yeah. retired and me and my wife will be on the beach somewhere. No. Yeah, there you go. Like she loves that idea. I have but in no the meantime, doubt. we're still building. So, Do your kids love cooking, too? Yes, they do. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, they yeah. do. So that's a, that's a plus. So I'm leading so them in the right, right direction. I yeah. mean, teaching kids in the kitchen, you know, just leads to so much. It's like everything. Yes. Should I stir this for you? I'm not sure yes. what I need to do. I don't have a little thing. What, what do you serve this? You don't even need it. No. No. You can use. Here, let me steak. get this for you. Make it a little bit easier oh, for you. Oh, there you go. And you can just ladle it on there. Oh, okay. I'll there do this go. work for you. Just You're doing a good job, Amber. What a pro. Oh, yeah. Thank you, man. I just didn't want it to burn for him. And then, like, with the rice, I normally use, this is my favorite brand, either the Zatarain's mm -hmm. rice or Goya. And you add it to your water once it's uh, boiling. And it takes about... 10 minutes at the most, cover it up with a lid and let it fluff up, and that's yeah. it. I feel like we need to do it. I know, I, I, I want to dive into it here, because. Be careful oh. with that now. It's very great. <laughs> Be careful. And that sauce, that's so good. What's the best part about you doing what you do on an everyday basis? That reaction right there. Mm -hmm. That reaction right it's there. The, that's what I love. It's the sauce, isn't love. it? You can bathe in that. No. <laughs>
That is stupid. I just I'm love pleasing. You, I love pleasing my customers good. and consumers. Here, I got your fork. All right, yeah, give me a fresh one. All right, Chef William, thank you. Thank you for as having always. me. Yeah, I need to make that home. I know, right? <laughs> no, I need to make that at home.